Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Sword Art Online Alicization, which is on episode 15. Now this episode right here, pretty simple, nothing much have, has really happened, but it looks like to me, the fights and music was on point, animation quality looks nice, well, it all depends if I didn't pause and look at it, but uh, aside from that, pretty simple episode, so if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Yu-Gi-Oh! ends up Yujo and Kirito are talking to two little kids here and there, and apparently, of course, what just, um, happened here, I had a feeling that these two little brats are not innocent, and apparently they aren't innocent at all. We see to it that they actually stab Yujo and Kirito when they drop their guard, and I think in my mind, this is what I mean, you dimwit. Yujo it is, Yujo that is, but... Apparently we see to it, of course, um, that we get to know about these two little chick flicks, which I don't even bother remembering them because they don't seem to be important anyway, honestly. Call me a little jerk, idiot, or jerk for saying that, but I'm just saying what's up, okay? Because they end up talking about how they were born and they end up having to kill each other as psychos whatsoever, and apparently we see to it that these two chicks, or two little chick flicks, um, ends up being resurrected correctly, and they were ad adopted as, like, a, maybe apprentices or integrity knights. And I think in my mind, blah, 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 you got your freaking reasoning. And we see to it that these two chick flicks arrogantly goes up to an integrity knight and tells them, oh, we're going to decapitate these two criminals, and we're going to prove to you that we're not bad people. But apparently, you G apparently, Kirito actually saw this from the very beginning, and he actually slashed the two chicks with their daggers. He even says, you guys gave it away already. One, you said you're not supposed to be out of the room, so it looks like to me you're supposed to be training right now. Two, you freaking like, um, what you gonna call it, um, had a couple things that, like, um, had some scabbers that were not supposed to be poisonous and etc. What whatsoever. So Yu-Gi-Oh! On the other hand, got fooled, but Kirito himself, he saw through their entire disguise. I mean, it was pretty obvious from the get-go for him. So he decide, so he decides to activate some kind of poison, cancel, whatever the freaking spell is, to not get injured for too long, etc., you know? And we see to it, of course, Kirito ends up giving Yu-Gi-Oh some antidote so he'll be able to move soon. And Eventually, we see to it that Kirito clashes against the Purple Knight, Integrity Knight, and we see to it that we get to know about her divine object. Yes, I accidentally said her because it is revealed that she's a woman in this episode, obviously. A little minor spoiler ahead, but it doesn't even matter if you read the Knight novel or watched the episode. I mean, come on now. And, or not. Aside from that, um, eventually, um... That divine object was created by a bunch of mirrors, apparently, and was melted by a boulder, etc. Thanks to that leader of the church, whatever the f she is, the administrator. And eventually, as the episode continues on, we have to it that Kirito used discharge against one of her projectile attacks. And it is revealed that she's a woman, and she gets really upset about this and clashes against Kirito in total rage. And we see to it that Kirito says, like, um, I don't hold my hold back against a woman no matter what, okay? Because I lost to a bunch of storage women before, so it doesn't even matter. So we see to it that they actually became on par in terms of like clashing against each other in terms of swordsmanship. But eventually, um, she ends up having to like, um, do some kind of like crazy suicide move that would kill her and possibly everyone else with it. And Kirito calls her an idiot for actually doing such a thing to go as far to protect some kind of system that's like um manipulating you know and we see to it that Yujo managed to get back to full recovery and tries to freeze er, freeze her and everyone else and of course like um Yujo freaking was using too much hatred in his heart which Kirito tells Yujo that you can't use that too much you see I'm here to help you and Alice because you love her right and I want to protect everyone in this world etc blah 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 whatever the case you want to call it or see to it you know and we see to and we, the episode ends off with, like, Kirito using enhanced arm in it and wants to save, save that woman from doing something stupid, you know? And the episode ends off there, with, with Kirito enhancing his, ob, his sword, his, his sword, etc. So yeah, like I said, pretty simple episode. Two lolly chicks tries to, like, trick Kirito and Yujiro, but Re Kirito saw through them, 
right away because they gave it away. A lot of things gave it away. And Kirito clashes against the Integrity Knight, and that Integrity Knight, just a little small detail, she hates the fact that um, her face was revealed to Kirito that she's a woman because everyone will always hold back against her, but Kirito goes like, I don't think you understand. I don't hold back against a swords, swordswoman, all right? Because I fought a lot of swordswomen and got my butt handed to them. Well, that could be from Asuna, that could be from his teacher, etc. You could, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and of course, she tries to do a suicide move that could kill her and everyone else in the room. So she does not allow Kirito and Yujo to cause any more trouble. But apparently that will not be the case. Thanks to Yujo and Kirito trying to work together and Kirito enhancing his sword, sword to like um, deliver the possible final blow or knockout blow, whatever the case may be. Anyways, um, that's about it, people. Nothing much I can really, nothing much I can give out right there. The way how it ended off really, really, tick, really like him ticked me off with Kirito enhancing his swords, and then, yeah. <laughs> Aside from that, pretty simple episode, action packed, a little like um, bothersome when I realized that they that these two chick flicks um were very well hi hiding behind a mask, but Kirito saw through that, which is a good thing. So yeah. So until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm off of zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.